This is just a little vlog to share with you what I have on my desk at the moment. So I'm working on classic fairy tales till the end of December and I have started to work on Little Red Riding Hood. I've started to work on the wolf in the grandmother's bed. I also have another big wolf in progress, though it looks like they're not really well advanced, but I worked only on them. And the beginning in my techniques and things I do is always very slow because I have a lot of details to do, there were a lot of drawing times, so it's always very slow. But I was really, really happy after many months working on the workshops to go back on my artwork and also on a few commissions. I also have a carriage, which is I'm going to share with you very soon. Uh, but for now, I was working on the wolves I will have a small a Little Red Riding Hood and another wolf uh, to complete the collection of Little Red Riding Hood. Are the books I have found in the most magical bookstore here in Saint Etienne. I just recently found a bookstore which is located Rue Michelet in Saint Etienne. Um, this is really the sort of store you see in the never ending story or in other films, other novels, which really you think they have the most precious and unusual and really, really magical books. So I wanted to share with you how it looks like because in Lyon where I lived before there were a few of them but they, most of them closed throughout the years and here I'm so so lucky to have found this one because there are all sorts of range of prices, all sorts of sort of books, really a lot of, uh, of children books which are my favorites and a lot of really really beautiful ones. So I wanted to share with you my finds, what I had found in this place.
So I found this one, which I thought was quite funny. It's a sort of book for little girls. Well, I suppose it's a sort of holiday book where they had a lot of stories. Um, there were games, there were a lot of things. So it's super fun. It's from the middle, uh, from the 30s, 1930s, and it's really quite adorable. There were, there were really, it's just a lot of games. There were little, um, needlework to do, music, super fun, super happy about this one. I'm going to read a few of these things. There are games too here. I found this beautiful book which is quite unknown fairy tales by Andersen. So you have really nice stories. There is a great story here which I'm reading. I've just started to read this one which takes place in Switzerland. I, I used to go a lot in Switzerland. I had a lot of uh, galleries and things I did there for my artwork and also a lot of friends so I love, love this country very much and I was super happy to see that there is a story which takes place there and there is um, a lot of magic and fairies in the mountains with the snow all that so I'm just reading that I didn't know this one at all and there were other it's only really quite less known fairy tales all those so I was super happy about this one it's really a story I never heard of, like Une histoire dans les dunes, I don't know what it is. It's a story with the desert, I suppose, in the desert. I really don't know. But I was super pleased. Really nice to have found this one. So this one is really a good catch. I found this one, which is the story of Pierre Le Grand. I don't know how you say that. In, in English, I suppose he has another name. It's a Russian emperor but I don't know who he is in, in English. And this one belonged to, uh, it was received in 90, 1854 by a child for his geography prize in Nantes. So it was in Nantes that it took place. I think it's also another really good one. I don't think there were a lot of pictures in this one, maybe few of them. Yes, there were a few of them. But yes, really beautiful one and the cover is really quite spectacular, I really love it. This one too, which is not very old, it was for 8 euros this one and it's quite unknown, unknown fair, little fairy tales, I don't know, but from very famous writers. And I love this site, which is very pretty, I think. And I have this one, which is... A story by the sea, also from a not very famous writer, but I quite loved it. The pictures are pretty. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read this story. It's from, I would say, the beginning, beginning of the 20th century, 1922, yes. And I also found this one, which is Les Vacances, which is the very last book about... If you remember, I had done some little girls, characters, animals, a few years ago, not really a long time ago, inspired by La Comtesse de Ségur and there were a lot of stories about holidays in the 19th century with a castle, all that. I don't know if you remember that. I have two, I think, two videos about this theme of these little girls and this one is the very last, I think it's the very last book of the, of the series by La Comtesse de, de Ségur and it's the holidays. So it's another one I will keep for next summer because really it's the sort of book you want to read during the summertime. I had never read it so super excited to have found this one too so thank you for watching this video let me know in the comments below what is your favorite classic fairy tale and maybe it's a fairy tale i'm going to do till the end of december we don't know for now i go back to my wolves working on little red riding hood listening to a very good story which is really nice when the weather is changing the here the weather is changing it's starting to get colder um, the days are really, really shorter. You really want to listen to a good story, working on an interesting piece of art and uh, really creating your little magical world and uh, a nice cup of tea too can help. I really like to have spicy warm tea in, uh, in the fall season. Thank you very much for watching this video and I always thank you for your encouragement, your support, your kind messages. They are always, always appreciated. I always like to read them and they always mean a lot. So thank you very much for that. And for now I leave you and I will wish you a beautiful day and I see you very soon. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the next videos.